Choreography is a design technique which is primarily used in microservices oriented architecture to implement distributed transactions or event driven workflow. Choreography design techniques suggest all the services can talk to each other independently without requiring a central authority to manage workflows. So let's take a look at uh, one example and how the choreography design pattern is actually implemented. So as you can see, we have three services over here, service A, service B, service C. If these services want to talk to each other, they simply publish their domain event on a central place, what we call either message bus or message broker, as you can see over here. We have several topics and queues over here where these services can simply listen and publish event. Based on these events, they can drive their internal workflows. A client can simply subscribe, can also subscribe to this message broker and, you know, publish uh, the first event or they can directly, you know, initiate workflow in one of these services. Let's take one quick example over here. So we have, let's say like, you know, three services called order service, payment service and shipping service. So how do you really implement this design pattern? So what happened, what will happen here is our client will publish a first event saying new order. Okay. As I said previously, client can simply publish this event on message broker on, on some uh, specified queue or, or topic, or they can directly send to maybe order service. But in this example, let's say client is writing directly to message broker. So as new order command has been received, an event has been received, let's say order service has subscribed to that particular event. So now order service has consumed this particular event. Once order service has completed its workflow, it will reply back with another event called order created. Okay, now order created has been published to another topic. There can be another service in this particular example. Let's say payment service is interested to consume this particular event to drive its, its workflow. So payment service has now consumed order created event. Once payment service finishes its workflow, it has to publish its own event. Let's say payment received. Now, another service such as shipping service over here will be kind of subscribing to a topic or queue where the payment received events are published. So now let's say shipping service has uh, kind of, you know, subscribed to the payment received plus also maybe to order created. So it's ready to ship an order. Okay. So once shipping service has, you know, successfully shipped an order, what it will simply do, it will create a new event called shipping done. And this shipping done can be sent to client or maybe it can be consumed by other services to, to maybe finally mark their, their workflow done. Now, let's say hypothetically, there is a little service, there is a pro little problem with a shipping service. Okay. So shipping service, when it consumed payment received, it cannot fulfill the order. Maybe the stock is, 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 is not there, or maybe like, you no, know, they have a, some sort of problem, um, with the, with the lorry, which is probably going to carry some sort of product. So what will sh shipping service do at this point? Shipping service will be initiating an event called shipping failed. It will simply say, that's fine. I received payment received. Okay. I try to ship, but I can't. So it will be kind of initiating a, a negative or an event, which is simply saying shipping field. Other services can now subscribe or can listen to topics where this type of events are published. So who will be most interested to listen to these type of failures? Of course, payment service, because we have to uh, 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 give a refund to our, our client. Okay. Plus order service will be interested to listen to these negative events. So if it needs to cancel an order, it can do so. So let's take an example. Okay. So shipping failed event came payment service has rightly subscribed to a topic where ship where shipping failed event was published. So payment service will, you know, kind of, uh, will do its workflow and then it will try to do the refund. And after that, it will say payment refunded. Now who will be interested to, to listen to payment refunded, probably order service. So let's say payments order service is now listening to a topic where 
payment refund event was published so after that order service will you know complete its its workflow and finally it will say order has been cancelled once order has been cancelled you know we can kind of reply back to our client saying um, your order is not successful we have you know uh, cancel the order and we have done all the refunds etc so this is how a choreography design pattern works i hope you like the video please uh, give me thumbs up leave leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel okay i will be uh, coming up with with new new videos soon thank you for your time bye bye